Tersu Dei is a farmer in Benu State, known as Nigeria's food basket. But now, like many other states in Nigeria, much of it is underwater. 29 of the country's 36 states have been hit by flooding, impacting at least half a million people, including Dei. My house is close to the riverbank, so when the flood came, the mud houses collapsed. This is not the time I intended to sell my rice, but because my rooms have collapsed, I don't have any option but to sell my rice, because there is nowhere to keep it. She says that five acres of the rice she grows, as well as almost all of her soybeans, are now underwater. What she has managed to harvest, she has to sell now, before it dries, because her house has washed away. Rice farmer Abraham Hon also lost almost 50 acres of his rice farm to the flooding. His farm was along the banks of the River Benu, which are locally called Fadama, a Hausa word for lowland farms. Yeah, all this is my farm, right up to where we have the electric uh, poles down um, uh, south, um, combined uh, hectares, 50 hectares of land. Are all cultivated with rice and has gone down the, the drain because of the flood. Farmers say the rising waters will push food bills higher, and that's not all. Farming was constrained due to flooding and food shortages and COVID restrictions in 2020. Prices have shut up due to the war in Ukraine and nationwide insecurity has pushed thousands of farmers off their land, which means millions of Nigerians have fallen into food poverty in the past two years. Nigeria-based Commodities Exchange, AFEX, estimates flooding and other factors will cut maize output by 12% year-on-year and rice by 21%. That is a serious problem for a nation where inflation hit a 17-year high in August, led by soaring food inflation.